What's up? What's happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel Sports, Life, and Politics TV. I'm Samuel Koppel, and I'm here for the news. And three days ago, outside of Atlanta, Georgia, they're, they're building a police training center. And there was a protest that led to some rock throwing, fireworks throwing, and Molotov cocktails were being thrown. Now, the news is telling us these are protesters, people who are truly upset with what's going on and them building the police training center. Now, when I show you the mugshot of these people, you, you, you'll be able to see, clear as day, that these are paid agitators. And most of the protests across the United States at this point are full of paid agitators. Just like during, during the George Floyd, they was finding Palace of Bricks <laughs> shit laid out downtown and, you know, a lot of this stuff is orchestrated, you guys. And when you see these people mug shots, you'll be able to tell that these people were paid. Now, were they paid in cash? Absolutely not. Were they paid in fentanyl and spam? 100%. And I don't mean the good spam that's fried up. I mean the spam when you open the can and steal some of that gelatin shit in there. Let's take a look at the clip. Atlanta police showing the size of the crowd during violent protests at the proposed site of a future police training center. This group would quickly overwhelm police in the area Sunday evening around 5.30. Police say this group was carrying and using fireworks, Molotov cocktails, and shields while advancing to officers who were patrolling the scene. And here are the people arrested at the site. All 23. They now, if you look at this cast of characters, <laughs> you can tell these people have all type of issues, drug addiction, alcoholism. Some of these people have been abused. Some of these people are abusers. But this is not a group of <laughs> logical protesters. It's obvious these are paid agitators. Look at the Indian man up to the left in the corner, the bald one. You're not even from this country. Why would you give a damn? about anybody building a police training center. Look at Macaulay Calkin's little sister. She couldn't even look directly in the camera. Her psych meds were wearing off and they didn't even give her the rest of her fucking spam. Then you had the <laughs> this white piece of Play-Doh right here in the black t-shirt. And as you go down the line, of these people, the man in the Under Armour. It looked like he was, <laughs> before he got this job, he was selling ass for fentanyl. And this other lady with the, with the goddamn vest on, our man, I don't even know what the fuck that even is. And I mean that as, <laughs> as respectfully as I could possibly can be. And then you see Billy Bob Thornton's cousin and brother. His mom and dad were brother and sister and cousins. Look at his t-shirt. It doesn't even fit on his neck properly. Then this lady right here in the black right next to him. She clearly worships the Baphomet. And what, and what the Iranian man is doing all the way far to the right, I have no idea. Then you go down to this guy down here, a woman. God knows what half these people are, respectfully. <laughs> he looked like he's chewing on a squirrel. And then you got Rainbow Bright down here. She has a tattoo across her chest. And it says, fuck the world in Latin. And this lady right here, she's tried all the drugs. <laughs> it ain't nothing she ain't tried, but that could be a dude. I don't know. Then you have an African June bug. His collar ain't on his shirt properly. This man ain't even a Negro. He looks like he's from one of the obscure countries in Africa, like Tanzania. He looks like the fucking Tasmanian devil. Hair ain't combed, jacket ain't on right. 
collar look like somebody been pulling on it. <laughs> then you have a fentanyl version of Teen Wolf next to him. And then you have this other paid agitator who's happy to be having his picture taken. And and this this lady with this red lobster bib on, this gray red lobster bib on, second furthest to the right. I don't know what he or she got going on. And then you has this. The, he's not even American. The man is. I. Where is he from? He looks half Filipino, half Hawaiian. Half, I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. That ain't original. That's, that, that tank top ain't original. He cut that out of a t-shirt. Oh, no. Not Dancing Bear. They got a Native American down at the bottom. Unbelievable. What is Dancing Bear doing in there? Then you have Amigo. I don't know what... <laughs> That's why, that's how you know a lot of this shit is just paid agitators. Do you have another one down here? With a toothpaste color shirt on. And nobody's combed their hair in months. Do you have red beard down here? He obviously likes children more than he likes adults. And then you got this motherfucking lady look like she's off the Three Stooges. And then you got Senorita over there in all black. I don't know what's going on, but I'm telling you, you guys, these people are paid agitators. But I'm going to finish out the clip. <laughs> and you'll see how wacky this shit gets. How wacky it gets. See domestic terrorism charges. So far, more than 40 such people have faced the same charges. We want to get you caught up now on the very latest. Let's go to Atlanta News First, Asia Wilson. She is live at City Hall in Asia Atlantis. Police chief says that this kind of behavior will not be tolerated. That's right, Atlanta's police chief is defending his officers. He says his officers showed great restraint in what he calls a violent attack against him tonight. He presented a presentation to Atlanta City Council showing more videos elaborating on what led to 23 people being arrested. What you see here is a group of individuals, approximately 100 in number, uh, that are approaching uh, the officers that are stationary on top of the hill. Now, it was 100 people out there and only 23 got arrested. How? How when y'all knew they was coming? How? How was that whole thing not surrounded with helicopters, police, SWAT teams? You attacking cops. This is how you know this shit is complete, a complete farce and extremely disingenuous. The people who actually orchestrated all this, none of them people was actually in the, uh, the mug shots. All of them people conveniently got away. They said it was over 100 people. Them was their words. From the sky. You notice uh, in the first line, there are individuals with shields. To the ground. Uh, they will have to start throwing rocks. Fireworks. Newly released surveillance video from Atlanta police show demonstrators throwing fireworks, <laughs> cocktails, and officers. There are some orchestrators the right there. Center, now under construction, Chief Deer Jerbob believes some of the people seen here left a festival right near the site. What has just transpired is that individuals were seen changing out of the clothes that they were wearing at the concert and were now dressing themselves in all black. He addressed Atlanta City Council Monday night. And don't think that all black thing gets past me. Is this a Luciferian agenda? Absolutely. And his officers showed great restraint, adding that they made lawful arrests. Despite the attack, and despite an effort to inflict bodily harm upon them, the GBI has charged 23 people with domestic terrorism. They're from 15 different states. Some residents spoke out at the meeting. Boom! There it is. <laughs> Boom. There it is. 23 of them was 15. They were from 15 different states. Did I already know that? Absolutely. But I wanted you to hear that. These people aren't even fucking from Georgia. Most of these people aren't even from Georgia. That's how you know they're paid. Like I said, was it fitting all in spam? Absolutely. But they were paid.
paid agitators. Let's listen one more time. Despite an effort to inflict vitally harm upon them. The DBI has charged 23 people with domestic terrorism. They're from 15 different states. Some residents spoke out at the meeting concerned. So let me clear that up. They say it was 23 of them and it was from 15 different states. So you could have got two from one. You know what I mean? They could have all been from different states. I don't think any of them people was from Georgia. None of them. They're paid. They're shipped around and they agitate. And a lot of these people be in the same goddamn protest. That lady said, defund the police. Ma'am, you're from Pakistan. <laughs> How about defund Pakistan? Why are you worried about what's going on in Atlanta? Obviously, because you're being paid. Bakhtiari also drunk. I want to first say that I do not agree with the destruction of property. It's something that does concern me, however, is the overuse of the word terrorism. It is very dangerous. And as you can see, that lady was clearly looked like she's from the alphabet community, LBGT. And she had on the signature colors of black and white. Look, none of this stuff is by happenstance. That's why I say, is this Luciferian agenda? Absolutely. Is this paid by somebody like a George Soros, et cetera? Absolutely. Rachel Kaufman, a local defense attorney representing two demonstrators tied to the Stop Cop City movement, arrested in December, also speaking out. Could they get a domestic terrorism indictment? Questionable. Did they have in No disrespect to this lady. But she looks like a real live witch. Look at the nose. <laughs> she looks like a character off Harry Potter. Look at the schnauzer on her. My God, it looks like a boot that hadn't been laced up. What a nose. And she has a perfect job of a lawyer <laughs> who investigates shit because she's extremely nosy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Visualized evidence to demonstrate that any or each of the people that they've arrested participated. Uh, I can tell you. Hey, there's the man with the tank top that he made. There's the man who made his tank top. Look at him. Evidence to demonstrate that any or each of the people that they've arrested participated. Uh, Look, I there he is. That's the motherfucker who cut his t-shirt <laughs> and made it to a tank top. There he is. Look at him. That's the one. I can't tell what he is. Filipino, Hawaiian, Thailand. I don't know what the fuck he was. Tell you no. But Atlanta's top officer isn't backing down on his stance. Individuals that may use this week to, to bring further attacks on public safety on property of this government and private property in Atlanta, Georgia will be arrested and they will be placed before a court. Now, during that presentation, we also learned 45 vehicles were towed away from that scene for processing, and there's about $150,000 in estimated damages. We're live in downtown. That's $150,000. Man, it ain't do nothing but pop a few firecrackers and throw some rocks. Somebody's exaggerating. Somebody's trying to run an insurance hustle now. Well, no $150,000 in fucking damages. Not from no firework going off and a couple rocks hitting the gate. You lying to me. Oh, man, they'll tell you anything on the news. They'll tell you any goddamn thing. Get out of here. Tonight, Asia Wilson, and first. All right, Asia, thank you so much. One of the people arrested was a legal observer with the National Lawyers Guild and Southern Poverty Law Center. The National Lawyers That's how I told you, you know this whole thing was planned. They had a legal observer there, somebody, because they already knew this was going to happen. They said, oh, they just left the concert and randomly went over there. No, they didn't. They had a legal observer there, a cameraman there. They had all they people there. Just like with the January 6th shit, all this shit is staged, man. You got to be a fool to believe half of this shit at this point. Lawyers Guild is responding, saying in part... These arrests are part of an ongoing state repression and violence against racial and environmental justice protesters who are fighting to defend their communities from the harms of militarized policing and environmental degradation. 
And as you can see, the average it was, they said for racial discrimination, all that shit, you didn't see no Negroes out there. You did get one motherfucker from Tanzania who looked like a Tasmanian devil. But outside of that, he's not even a nigga. He's not even a Negro. And he's not even from America. Get out of Dodge. I mean, a lot of these protests, man, are complete shams. And if it smells like it's rotten in Denmark, it's because it is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. I'm Samuel Koppel. This is Sports, Life, and Politics TV. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I just took your ass on all of these people who are paid and fitting all that spam ride. Peace.